Hello everyone, and uh, welcome back to more Arcus 2. Uh, wasn't this one called Beyond the Dark or Enter the Dungeon? I think it might have been called Enter the Dungeon. One way or another, we're actually going to enter the dungeon now. Uh, at least I wanted to, but I think I have to talk to a guy first. There we go. Boop, boop, boop. I mean, I kind of don't want to, but I think we have to. I think there's, there's not much I remember about this game, other than this one build that's really powerful. And one other fact, the one other fact that I remember about this game is that Kimra is actually completely fucking useless. And I think we actually have to take him with us. I mean, I, I don't think there's any way around that. I think if he dies though, we can leave him dead or whatever. Maybe that's something we're gonna do. So yeah, we can we can actually um, do stuff with him. We can equip him. We, we can give him potions and stuff and skills. But we're really not gonna care about it. We really don't care about Kimura. He's I, I really don't know. Okay, is this I thought this would actually heal us, but apparently it doesn't. So we actually have a level five hatch, but we don't have enough gold for it, even with everything we sold. Uh, let's just get some stuff. We bought the other stuff, but right? we're actually using that. No, we're only we're only going axe. We're not gonna switch around in the middle of anything and then do other stuff. So yeah, sadly we had to team up. So yeah, last part I told you guys that I was going to talk about how I was the guy who made the German official German translation by, uh, for this game. Basically I just did a let's play and the guys that made the game saw the let's play and were like, that's pretty cool. But we know you're German, you want to do the German translation? And I was like, okay. And that's the entire story and I totally baited you with that, but yeah, that's the entire story. Now if you played this game with the German translation, you were like, well, the German translation is not that good. Yeah, that's... That wasn't... I couldn't actually do better than that. Mostly because... Uh... I don't want to give the... I don't want to give the developers bad rep. Because I think the developers are pretty cool. The developers of this game are really cool. I'm gonna say it right now. The developers of the game... Are, are, they're, they're quite awesome. But... The official... The English translation that I had to go off at the time... That I don't think was actually the final English translation... Was... Um... Not that good. So I had to go off an English translation that was a bit, a bit not very good, and I somehow had to do German translation for that. And because I didn't add all, everything, I only thing, I, whoop, the only thing I had. Oh yeah, I remember that. I never actually hit barrels. Not worth it. Um, because I only had a like a spreadsheet of like English silences, and then I in that spreadsheet I was supposed to write down the German stuff. Um, I didn't actually know what any of this stuff was actually gonna be in the final game. Like, for example, when it says candy. There's many different ways uh, that you could translate that, depending on what type of candy it actually is. And the direct German translation for candy is pretty broad. It's very broad. Like, fruit or whatever. Yeah, that's, that's pretty broad. So I was like, okay, well, what do you even put, it, put in there? If I actually knew what it was, I could put in a lot more. Now at that point you could say, okay, you can go the extra mile and just ask him exactly what it is, but I actually didn't feel like that. Yeah, I actually didn't, I didn't, actually didn't bother. So instead, I just went. And I just translated everything like that, and because the English translation was broken, I didn't actually know what any of the stuff meant. Not any of the stuff, but a lot of the stuff meant. The translation is not quite the best. But I think, I think, for just a random flash game, I think it did an alright job. I think it did an alright job for just a random flash game. Nowadays, I, could, I would probably go a little bit more of an extra mile and actually ask if they could specify a lot more of the stuff. Like, make sure to tell me a bit more in detail what some of the stuff is or isn't, so that I had a better, better idea of what everything means. Also, I think it was another thing where I didn't actually know if umlauts were actually uh, able to be represented in the typeset they were using. I'm not actually sure. So I just kind of went and did the umlauts and hopefully they were gonna be in the typeset. I just gambled a bit there. 
Oh yeah, something else also we're noting is we're doing more damage if we attack something from behind. We're gonna spec pretty heavily into that because you can increase the backstab damage you're doing. Sometimes you hit something, you get something really good. Sometimes you hit something, you almost die. I am not gonna hit barrels, like screw barrels. So yeah, that was the entire thing with the German translation. I think overall it was alright. But yeah, nowadays it would have gone a bit more into detail. There's actually too much to do right now. We're basically going through the uh, like basics of the initial dungeon crawling we have to do in here. We just go through some rooms, there's some barrels, there's some wolves. There's not too much special going on here. And I don't think there's actually in general too much special going on for uh, quite some time. So I can talk about some other stuff maybe. Uh, I, I, by the way, I also put mouse click on one of these. Uh, probably not gonna use that. And mouse move. I, move. I put mouse move on my controller. But I probably am not gonna use that because I didn't put mouse click on a controller. Actually, I'm gonna do that right now. Let me put mouse click on that. Never mind, I can't. I have no free buttons. Okay. I actually don't have any free buttons. That's good. This game doesn't actually use that many buttons, but there usually we have a flash game and it uses like 10 different uh, cooler, uh, hotkeys for some stuff. I like to put that stuff somewhere. I don't want to click stuff on screen. I don't ever want to click stuff on screen and I'm running around doing stuff. So I just put everything on buttons if I have any free buttons. Which is why I usually prefer keyboard because on keyboard you can do that. It is also why I play Dark Souls games on keyboard. Maybe Dark Souls games on keyboard doesn't feel quite as fluid as it does with a gamepad, but it's more precise. It's actually more precise with mouse and keyboard. Well, not, not the first Dark Souls, but Dark Souls 2 and 3 are more precise with a keyboard. But one, mouse has faster movements from camera, obviously, and you can do stuff while moving the camera, which is really nice. And you have way more keys to bind for all sorts of stuff. So, it, theoretically, if you had the best computer, if you had the best keyboard player and the best gamepad player for Dark Souls, the keyboard player would be, in general, better at the game. It's actually like that. But like I said, playing it with keyboard doesn't feel quite as... It doesn't feel quite as good as playing with a, with a gamepad, so... Or just casual stuff, you'd probably still play with gamepad. And even for speedrunning, you might play with gamepad, because the the difference is not actually that big between the two. And you have to get pretty deep into keyboard controls to actually make the difference. Wait, wait how good... Oh, yeah, let's actually go up there. Now for the starters, I'm probably gonna go everywhere, just to make sure I don't, mi don't miss anything important. But later on, in the later levels, we're probably just gonna continue on if we see that we found the right spot. Also, the world map makes more sense now, you see where we are. We don't even need the local map. Also, I don't actually know if these maps are randomly generated. I don't think they're randomly generated. But they might be. Actually, no, I don't think they're randomly generated. And I also think that if we go back to a floor we've already been to, it's gonna show us the map. Like, enemies are probably gonna respawn, but I think the map is already gonna be uh, there. We even have a quest? No, we don't actually have a quest right now. Maybe there was actually a quest at the at town that I didn't pick up. Hmm. We're gonna get to that anyway. Not pressing anything, it's doing that sound by itself, by the way. There we go. Let me look at the timer. I should have set up a timer. Why did I not set up a timer? I could call the part here, but this is not look this is not a good spot to leave it. We're gonna continue on to the next floor. And we're gonna we're gonna do it pretty quickly. Probably. These guys are actually powerful, I remember that. I also remember that jumping is pretty good. And Kimra instantly died. Yeah, this is Kimra by the way, he just instantly dies. You wanna, you wanna back yourself off into a corner here? Cause then you can do stuff like that and that's pretty powerful. There's actually a special mob. You can see he's yellow, he's like an elite. Also that's a ridiculous amount of damage. You can actually use a potion here. But in a one-on-one, -on -one, Really nothing can do anything to you. And we got a special weapon, which sadly is... It's sadly not our weapon type. It's, it's pretty good damage, but it's not our weapon type. Oh, put some more down there. What do we have? Pointless. 
I'm, next time I'm gonna, uh, it's, actually, actually, I'm gonna cut the part here because I think this is a good spot standing over Kimura's dead body. It says he's alive. I think he's actually just feigning death. Oh my god, what an idiot. Anyway, that's that. Thanks guys for watching. Next time I'm gonna talk a bit more about how this game works. So yeah, thanks for watching. See you next time.